This one is on the HTML and JavaScript. There is no backend. We would like to add a feature that can check how many figures are shown on the screen using the camera and based on the number of fingers play multiple notes simultaneously. So we we'll essentially potentially have a different range of notes for each finger or something like that. So, so the idea is that we're playing chords Ideally, the chords will be legit chords, so we'll, they will be the notes will be matched well together. So it's saying as uh, so a finger counting with uh, media pipe, you're saying we can uh, detect and track the hand landmarks, including fingers, and use this to count the number of fingers being extended. So that that will be good. So we, the idea is we'll play a different number of notes depending on how many extended fingers there are now regards the chord mapping so can we make sure depending on how many fingers are extended uh, the same number of notes is played so if two fingers are extended we play two notes if three fingers we play three notes the mapping should correspond to some sort of notes that go well together that are matched Yes, we need to make sure we can play multiple notes at once. That will help. Does it mean we need to change JavaScript from are we using Tone.js at the moment? And yes, we would like to provide visual feedback on screen. Well, actually, we would like to keep the screen as clean as possible. We don't want any rubbish on the screen. We would like for it to be very user intuitive. So are we going to be using um, GitHub Copilot or are you going to be generating the code without any placeholders? I'll be providing the code directly without using GitHub Copilot. <laughs> Here's a more detailed version of the JavaScript code for your application, integrating the functionality of playing chords based on the number of extended fingers detected by MediaPipe. Yeah, we're not doing uh, bows, just doing face and hands for now. Yeah, you could have some sort of dancing dancing app that's also looking at the whole body to generate music but uh, we won't be doing that at the moment yeah github copilot needs a selection of the code so essentially it's sending it to gpt yeah why are we in face mesh instance why do we have the cdn file isn't that what's uh, being already done in uh, HTML. Yep. 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 Uh, it's still generating. That's why. Const synth. Right. Yeah. Now it's taking code from uh, that already exists. I don't know why. Right. But now we have different scale left cell. Right. Can you continue integrating while I'm testing what the we currently have? We would also like to change the code to be able to show the coordinates only without the actual camera footage. Let's try GitHub again. Yeah, GitHub should be able to solve things like that. Hey, which function actually displaying the coordinates on the screen, overlaying them on? to the footage, the video footage. Right, we have the landmarks. By the way, obviously, yeah, so we're using the second camera. It's not working well. It's not displaying the landmarks. And this is odd. Canvas. We have the canvas. We have the image. Okay, we don't have that code. Canvas begin path. This function. Why do we have on face result? This function should be inside on result. We have still scale. Uh, yes, we do. There are a couple of things. First of all, the sound is way too loud. Second, I don't see the face and hand coordinates overlaid on the screen. Third, we would like an option to remove the original footage and just they display the coordinates alone. Guards the on results function. A um, couple of things. 
we would like to display the face coordinates as well. Yeah, on face results are not being used. Right, so we have the face. Yeah, also how to make sure the volume is not too high. At the moment we're setting the volume once somewhere, but then we have the tone synth in more than one place. Volume is just called volume. It's not a global, is it? I have showing the camera first and then. Okay, we have the previous thing working as well, don't we? I just... Can we mute this page? Can I maybe? Lots of trouble because I have this page twice. Okay, that's back. That's the new one. Right. Can actually mute this side. This volume not controlled by volume is not controlled by the Okay, it's working now, which is great. There are a few things uh, missing from the original code. For example, the loudness used to be controlled by the Y axis position of the fingers on the screen. It's not doing that anymore, it seems. Or maybe it does, I don't know. Can we check? How many notes? We also have the following error in the console in the browser. Can we check uh, how many notes do we have? Like what's the maximum number of fingers that can be played at once? Your initialization of tone. Polysynth is almost correct. It's almost correct. Yeah, we have all sorts of issues. Might have like two separate versions uh, of this tool. One that you can see, uh, this one that I muted at the moment. You mute this one. Can mute site. That doesn't work anymore. Unmute site. Right, so that working differently. It has the volume control depending on how high you go, has longer notes playing and shorter notes depending on the distance between the thumb and the index finger. finger. Uh, but the other tool, ah, and the main thing, it also has the range, so you can So obviously this one better. The other one, what is it trying to do is, uh, depending on how many fingers are extended, it will play multiple notes at once in chord, chords, uh, chord formations, so notes that actually match one another. But that one will need way more work. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. I'll finish with some 